Alright guys, we finally got our hands on the E-Ride Pro SS, which is supposedly the sarong killer. As you've seen from some cinematic shots, the bike looks really, really good. It's very sim similar to a Saron. Um, the pegs are an awful lot better than a stock Saron. It, this does have the Fast Ace 2.0 suspension. It was fitted by Dublin Electric Bike Shop. And I want to say thank you to Dublin Electric Bike Shop for allowing me to review this bike. He's given me this bike to allow me to review it. So guys, if you need any electric bikes, please head over to Dublin Electric Bike Shop. Um, he can pretty much get you any bike you want. You know, and he's absolutely fantastic to uh, deal with. So, yeah guys, so I've taken down some notes. So the battery on this is 72 volt. 40 amp battery the max peak power on this is 12 kilowatts of power eco mode sports mode and then it also has a turbo button at the top speed of this is 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles per hour and that is absolutely insane out of the box what i just quickly noticed there yeah it does it has a belt drive here it seems to be a fairly strong belt curious to see even the screen and stuff it looks amazing and um, I prefer this screen over the little kind of screens here straight away I just literally took it around the corner from my house around the corner over there and the brakes are absolutely just so much better everything about this bike suspension so far and I haven't even given it a proper kind of uh, test yet and um, so currently we're in eco mode i do get have to get to know this bike i'm not sure what this one and two is um but anyway let's go on a little spin see how the bike feels throttle feels really really good keep in mind we're in eco mode currently and let's do a little test and see if we can wheelie in eco mode that's something I was curious. I was I was very curious to see, you know, the throttle response and how the throttle felt on this. So let's see if we can wheelie, do a little wheelie in eco mode. Let's see. Yes, we can. We can wheelie in eco mode. Now you have to be going obviously at very slow speeds. This isn't gonna be an off-road test today. It's just kind of getting a feel of the bike and comparing it to all the other bikes that I've that I've compared, that I've reviewed. We're still in eco mode. And the power just builds up nice nice and gradually always be respectful guys yeah so guys straight straight away i'm liking this bike this is straight out of box this is a bike even without just being in eco mode this is a bike that you could buy you know you don't have to do it up you know the brakes are good the brakes are insane the brakes are actually insane on this bike just straight out of box now guys we're gonna put it into sport mode and let's see how sport mode oh sport mode really reacts there whoa that is insane i did not expect that sport mode is like sport mode is absolutely in whoa that is powerful that is really really powerful oh whoa guys that is uh that's extreme that is extreme for especially a bike out of the box now guys the, the, the tires on this is they're very they're very, they're the same brand that Teleria used the cst i think tires you can't expect everything for you know a good price this is slightly cheaper than a saran supposedly over in america it is over in ireland it's probably in around the same price but you're still getting that 72 volt battery lots of other kind of things that are better so saran in my opinion definitely need to upgrade their game um let's go on the road after these couple of cars and see exactly the power okay let's go guys let's see what, what speed we're gonna hit Guys, we're already hitting the 80 kilometers an hour. I have to slow down because if I kept going, what do I do to that car? <laughs> but guys, throttle feels smooth. It just feels nice. It does, it really, really does. Guys, overall, the aesthetic of this bike, and supposedly, I've seen Saran's video, the wheels and stuff and a lot of parts are very similar to a Saran. Even, even the look of the bike, you know, the fender, the seat, 
the actual the battery cover the a lot a lot of it looks like very very similar but they've done such an amazing job even sitting on this bike straight off the bat um i feel comfortable i feel really really comfortable just sitting on this bike it feels a little bit more natural which is what um definitely what we're looking for you know but well, guys let's pop a little wheelie let's see how we go whoa guys that is extreme i did not expect that 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 wheelie in there in sport mode is just whoa guys if you wheelie at too slow of a speed you are looping this bike i did not expect that thank god for good back brakes there because that bike was going backwards whoa uh, every one of these electric bikes you have to get used to they wheelie different whoa i'm definitely not used to wheeling this over time i probably would be but um yeah that is um i would not like to try wheelie in turbo mode not a chance let's stick it in turbo and see how turbo feels yeah, turbo does not really seem to feel too much different than sport um, right, we're going into I think turbo only lasts for a couple of seconds also because who need, oh, I really don't think there was any need for a turbo button on this bike this bike is insane just and um, just in sport mode let's go somewhere and i'm gonna see if i can go down some steps and stuff um, and see how the bike feels suspension wise and um, you know and sh and shock wise because that, that, that really scared me when i wheelie there i did not expect the full the front wheel to pop up that quick that's why it's so like your back brake is literally your lifeline on the on, when you're wheeling a bike it's so important when you're wheeling to be able to know how to use the back that back brake and to always have that finger on, on your back brake i feel like with this bike you have to nearly wheelie at higher speeds and um, because when you wheelie to at low speeds i find it just i don't know it's just gonna loop you out but maybe over time as you get used to it you know um it might feel better okay guys let's go let's try a little wheelie now we're in sport okay i find that if you don't hit that balance point there straight away which i'm kind of afraid to because i'm, I'm so new to this bike look guys don't get me wrong it just takes time to to learn you know every single different bike let's see let's see if we can do a little knee knock knee knock might be a bit easier yeah the knee knock still fit the knee knocks felt a bit better but still it's uh it's quite kind of weird getting used to wheelie in this bike okay so i'm actually guys i don't know what these this one and two is i've no idea is it for the light or people are probably looking at this and thinking like is this guy stupid <laughs> see i just find that 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 rear wheel just pulls the bike up way too quick let's see where we can go to do some small kind of jump test with this suspension guys give me a couple of days on this bike and i'll obviously be able to wheelie but guys this bike is super quick it's so bloody quick <laughs> it, it, it's absolutely like i got a shock when i originally just jumped on this and put it in sport mode um, it is super super quick brakes as i said are amazing there's so many good things about this bike don't forget to like comment subscribe you know i always say this in every video um i really appreciate the support you know it means a lot to me and um you know i'm just i like making this content reviewing these kinds of bikes and seeing you know what's best for you guys guys another thing is i got um, the ext um front forks and ext rear suspension or uh, rear shock put on my saran and a couple of other things done to it and um, so that will be that video will be coming out soon out of the box 12 kilowatts of power is absolutely insane the bike aesthetically as i said it looks so so good aesthetically 
Right guys, let's try find some jumps. I have a place up here and we'll be able to give it a good little test. A couple of steps and it will really give that suspension, the Fast Ace 2.0 suspension a test. Because EXT suspension, um, I haven't even given it a proper shot yet on my bike, but um, you know, they are very, very expensive. Yeah guys, another thing about this bike is that um, it's quite, it's actually quite, it's light, for, especially for a 72 volt, it's, it's very light and nimble, it's not that big, it's, it's the same, pretty much the same size as a Saron. Yeah guys, another thing is, is that like, I'm not, this bike hasn't been given to me to, you know, just say good things about it, you know, um, this bike, I can just say, give my honest opinion about the bike and that's what i always will do if i like something i'll say it if i don't like something i will say it you know and so far and um, the only thing that i haven't really like i like wheeling my bikes you know um and the only thing that i haven't really kind of liked so far and it's probably just a bit of time of getting used to oh guys oh that, that felt good How are we doing? Oh yeah, that felt good guys. That felt good. You know, just floating off them jumps, felt uh, off them steps, felt good. Maybe on this road, we'll do a little bit of a top speed test on just sport mode. As they say, out of box, this, bo this, this does do 100 kilometers an hour. I definitely don't doubt that because, you know, the, the, the power is just insane. Like, look at this, guys, right? I'll go full throttle. That is absolutely insane. Right, guys, let's go. We'll go. Top speed test. Hold on. We'll wait till we go past these cars. Eighty-five with the turbo button maybe turbo so guys there we're just hitting about 90 kilometers an hour maybe it's because the turbo button wasn't on it didn't seem to be working for some reason the turbo button yeah guys turbo only lasts a couple of seconds i think uh, um, i think that's something that i heard that they're changing um, in the future so in my opinion like you do not need anything more than sport mode on this because it's it's insane out of box you know the moment you've all been waiting for um i've tried every single most electric bikes out there you know saran light bees fully upgraded saran light bees um ultra bees telerius thing ors till mx trees the XXX, you know, I have a lot of experience on these bikes and would I buy would I buy this? Would I prefer this bike over the other bikes? Um yes, for what you pay for, you get absolutely you get so much, you know, um for this bike. Um you know the throttle feels nice, you know, I like all the different options, the brakes are insane. The battery, 72 volt, 40 amps, straight out of box. The, 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 the bike is pretty light. It's very actually light. Compared to, compared to like where you get a Saran, right? To get a 72 volt, two, two volt battery, you're paying almost 3,000 euro for just the battery alone. You know, to get, to get power that you're getting pretty much out of this. And then when you get the 72 volt, then you have to pay for a controller for it to, for it to allow it to do the power you know um that you want to do you know so because for me this bike is such a good bike every bike gets a bit of getting used to now i will what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a couple of things on a couple of videos on this bike i'm going to bring it and do an off-road test um, and and it's going to be a real challenge for the bike and i'm pretty sure it's going to pass definitely going to pass the the test you know um but guys look that's that's today's video on the the pro ss now as there is a pro s version which is a little bit with a little bit smaller and a bit a little bit slower yeah so there's there's an option there for pretty much everybody which is quite nice you know 
let's see if I can, we'll go up these steps, we'll test the suspension again and going up these steps. Easy, 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 <laughs> easy, easy. So yeah, I would, I definitely, this, this bike is, is uh, definitely worth the money that you pay for. I have to say these fast ace 2.0 suspension the front forks feel really really good um yeah i'm going to compare these actually to the xt's um you know the xt's are way more expensive but um yeah guys so look that's going to do it for today's video um look like comment share subscribe and um i hope you enjoy it and i hope you're enjoying the content e-ride pro ss i would recommend this bike 100 percent guys look if you want any other videos let me know um any specific videos you want to see just let me know and i'll get on them plenty more content to come and guys i'll catch you in the next one take care guys